I'll post our way to get the welcome in the NL Player of the Month presented by Chevrolet, Joey Votto. Former MVP and a six-time All-Star at 37 years young. Uh, Joey, thanks for uh, joining us on Intentional Talk. Is this the best Joey Votto that we've seen? Ooh, no, friend. Are you uh, – no, 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 no. I've had uh, I've had real good stretches, but I feel great. I, I, if you're talking about looks, <laughs> I've been eating, eating celery before bed. <laughs> I'm shredding fat. I'm shredding fat. You should see me with my shirt off. Oh, my God. I eat celery before bed. I don't touch a dessert. No refined sugars. I feel great. Good I feel great, God. and I look Have better. Have mercy. You know what? Speaking of feeling great, now I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but you go deep seven straight games, okay, and then you have a chance for the eighth, and you hit the top of the little orange thing. Are you pissed off at the guy that designed City Field that, that had all these ins and outs of this wall, Joey? Kevin, you know when you're going good. You know when you're going good, you're in the middle of a game, and you, you, it, it's a good swing, and you're thinking to yourself, good swing. Like, okay, what's next? I'm on the bases. We gotta, we gotta finish this win. We've gotta, we've gotta come. Uh, we gotta, you know, I gotta somehow score, score uh, from first. So in my, in my mind, I was thinking, good swing. Uh, I wasn't really t so much thinking about. Uh, the eighth game but after the game I was thinking to myself because I didn't know when I off the bat I thought oh I hit in the middle of the fence or I hit the base of the fence it wasn't until after the game that I saw the highlight where it, it hit just off the uh, just off the orange uh, right below a home run but you know you keep going man um, you know you know it is what it is yeah, I do want to ask you though. So, I mean, I was a very superstition dude, facial hair wise, whatever it was. <laughs> when you're going through something like that, because not all of us have homered in seven straight and almost in eight straight, did you do anything different, or were you just the same dude eating celery before before bed? <laughs> no, I, um, I did, I, I, I did everything different. Yeah, I'd use a different at bat every at bat. Um, I've got. Um, I've got no superstitions when it comes to the game. The only, the only thing, it's funny, the only thing I'm a little bit particular about, so I guess I do have a superstition. I don't <laughs> like when my bats cross. I don't like when bats cross. For some reason, I don't know why. Ah. Uh, you know, I, I was once told by a, uh, I'm not gonna get into it, but I don't like my, when my bats yeah. cross. So uh, that's probably the only superstition <laughs> I have. Uh, I drive, I, I come to the ballpark different times, hit batting practice, don't hit batting practice, eat different things. It doesn't, to me, it doesn't really make a difference. Um, I feel, as long as I feel fresh and ready for the game that night, um, you yeah, know, it's good. Yeah. It's good, it's good. Yeah. And, and no doubt, Joey, you, you were enjoying, I mean, this streak over the last seven or eight games. I mean, because normally you hit a home run, you put your head down, you run around the bases, but you were having some fun with the, some of your celebrations. I, explain how, how the TV show Ted Lasso has now been was roped into some of these celebrations we saw, especially in, in <laughs> Queens and City Field. Well, I'll get back to the Ted Lasso thing, but just you were talking about fun. These young cats in the game, yeah. they've got me energized. <laughs> they've got me energized. We've got fans back in the stands. They weren't allowed to come last year. Why, why, why can't I show? Why can't we show energy as long as we're respectful of our competition? Why can't we? Why can't we celebrate? You know, when I first came into the league, it was hit the ball, put your head down, or you get drilled. Hit the ball, put yes. your head down, act like you've done it before. Well, guess what? There's times where the score is three to two, and all of a sudden you you make it five to three. We're trying to win. We're trying to win. And on top of that, the fans feed off of that. And on top of that, the fans they 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 they're like wind in our sails. And if we give that energy to them, they give it back to us. And it's a for me. I get, I'm starting to get it as a player that's 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 played in multiple generations now. Uh, now mm -hmm. seeing these young cats celebrate, now seeing these young cats uh, uh, have their moments in front of the fans on TV, TikTok and Instagram and YouTube and all that stuff, and and and, and just seeing <laughs> the people. Yes. I just I, I enjoy it. So back to the Ted Lasso thing. So um, our ma our manager David Bell, um, his uh, brother passed away. Um, and uh, he told me, Dave told me that his brother's favorite show before he, before he died was Ted Lasso. And he said, you should consider watching it. And I said, what do you think about it? And he said, I love the show. It means a lot to me and my brother, uh, but I also can, can learn a lot from it. So I watched the show and Dave and I start chatting about it. And he says, you remind me of Roy. Well, Roy is this aging, 
you know, uh, aging midfielder that eventually gets, I'm not going to spoil it, but he's an aging midfielder that's way past his prime. And that pissed me off. I'm, I'm playing on a daily basis. There's a young, young buck, Jamie Tart, who's the star of the team. And I said, I'm Jamie Tart. I'm not Roy Kent. I'm Jamie Tart. And so Jamie has this moment where he scores a goal and says, me, 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 me. <laughs> and so when I started hitting home runs, I would do that and look at Dave Bell like, I'm Jamie Tart. I'm the young yes. buck. Just let him know I'm not Roy yes. Kent. And, uh, and so, you know, that's, 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 I, I, try, I try my best to do it when we're winning, and I try hard not to be too disrespectful because I don't want people thinking I actually mean what I'm doing. <laughs> but it's been great. It was a, gr it was a great, yeah. it's, a, it's been great for Dave and I, for Dave and I to build our relationship too. Yeah, that's good stuff. You know, one of my favorite things about you though, Joey, besides the homers and all the fun and all the stuff, but is the interaction with kids because this is the one thing that as players on the stage, you do the best job. You and Miguel Cabrera, I've always said, phenomenal job with the kiddos. Explain to me how this started taking part of you. Oh, man, you, you come to a game and, and um, you know, um, I, I've been going to, um, we've got an academy here that supports uh, the I, RBI baseball program. And I've been going there quite often. And anywhere from 18 to 12, I'm seeing these kids. I'm seeing the energy they have. And, and how much they care for the game. And then I see them in the stands, the next generation. We've got the next generation of the sport in the stands. Why can't I be a part? Why can't I give them a moment, but also inspire them maybe to want to play the sport, maybe want to, maybe want this to be a, a, a pastime of theirs. And so um, yeah. I, 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 it's a gift to me. It's a true gift to me when I get to see these kids uh, and get to interact with them and ask them about, ask them a name, ask them about their day, and then just just connect with them. So um, it, it's 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 less about it's less about them selfishly. It's about me. I get to meet new people, meet new kids, and, and maybe they can have a, a moment that they enjoy on the field. All right, well, Joey, uh, since awesome. you're uh, so good with uh, kids, it's time for you to meet a new one. Now, our next question is coming from our our Chevrolet play ball reporter, Austin P. Ryan. Austin, take it away, my man. Hey, Joey. Thanks for joining the show. Right. <laughs> you came close to an MLB record of having eight games straight with a home run. What do you think the hardest record to break in MLB is? Austin, first of all, wonderful delivery, even better bow tie. Let me tell you, uh, I would say I would say the best or the most difficult um, record to break is uh, Joe DiMaggio's 56 game hitting streak. Of course, home runs and all-time hits and all that. To be able to hit, get a hit in today's game in 56 consecutive games, actually it would be 57 consecutive games, seems virtually impossible. Um, that's my guess. That's a great question. And uh, man, keep smiling. Thanks for joining me, Joy. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. See ya. All right. Thanks, Austin. Uh, that was awesome. Uh, check it out. You can check out our, our Chevy Play Ball reporters uh, every Saturday at, at 10 a.m. on our show, uh, Play Ball here on MLB Network. All right, brother. We got a few rapid fire questions and we'll let you get back and start going deep. You ready? Sounds great. Which opposing player do you hope gets a single because he's a great combo at first base? Great convo at first base. Yeah, Ooh, somebody you'd like to talk player. with. Uh, man, you brought up his name. Miggy Cabrera's got a great personality, but he puts his hands on you. You know, he puts his hands on you. He'll untuck your jersey, <laughs> untuck your pocket. He'll rub your head. You know, like, get off me. Or well, he wouldn't be on that side. Get off me, you know? like. But probably Miggy, he's got a great personality, yeah. great sense of humor. Good stuff. Who is more likely to be as good as Joey Votto when they're 37? Is it Winker or Castellanos? Ooh, yeah, yeah. You can't get me to pit uh, teammates against one another. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say one or the other. They're both stellar hitters. Both started the All-Star game. Okay. Nick Kate, Nick Kate takes great care of himself. Jesse's a, a fantastic hitter. I hope they both. I hope they're better than me. Love it. Who is the most badass, quote unquote, rider? Rider? Let me tell you something. Yeah. The, the whole rider thing. First of all, 
Eugenio Suarez and I rode our scooters around in spring training, okay? And these, these guys gave us a hard time all the time. We would ring the bell, bring, 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 you know, letting people know we're coming through. Then all of a sudden they go to a city, they start riding scooters around, and they claim that they're the original riders. Hey, let me tell you something. I'm an OG rider, okay? We should be the ones handing out the shirts, okay? You're not a rider, I'm a rider. Suarez is a rider, okay? <laughs> Love it. Last one, last one. How much of your game do you model after Reds, Sean Casey. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, none of my game. Hey, let me tell you a story. So we're in spring training in maybe 2005, and uh, I'm a, you know, 21. Tw I don't remember how old, and he's close to close to the end of his career. And I remember he's on this table doing all these hip exercises, all these, like, he's got these weights around his ankle doing all these <laughs> hip exercises. And I'm picking up heavy weight, and I'm deadlifting heavy weight. And he's, like, moving hip exercises like he's, you know, in, in one of those, like, uh, uh, you know, uh, infomercials. And so I said, what is this for? And he said, keeps me strong, big fella. Keeps me out there every day, big fella. <laughs> Sean, Sean, uh, Sean, I never got to play with, but I got to see him come back here to Cincinnati as a Red Sox, and the, and the love and support he got was, was great. Um, yeah, I, I, I want nothing to do with Sean Casey's game, but he was a great player. That's All right, right, Joey, man. That's hey, right. uh, great stuff, man, and continue to hit some bombs. And like, like you said, man, let it all hang out. Have some fun like these young bucks, these young Thundercats. That's exactly right. It's, it's their game. I'm just trying to join in. Thanks, guys.